following is an unpaid preview for a game seeking funding on Kickstarter. The product seen here is a work in progress and is subject to change during the duration of the project. Bonjour, I'm Fernando the Carpet Stacker and welcome to the preview video for Le Miserable, Eva the Rebellion. Le Miserable is a strategic card game from Escape Velocity Games and is designed by Nick Ferris. It's for 2-4 players that plays in 30 minutes and ages 12 and up. Based on the French literary classic by Victor Hugo, Le Miserable, Eva the Rebellion has many of the characters that make an appearance from the book. What you're trying to do in this game is you're scoring points using the character cards. Often you will score based on the number of cards either in the kill pile or the save pile. Let's begin by taking a look at one of the cards. Each card has four main parts, the name, their ability, their scoring effect, and the top left will show a number of symbols which is used for scoring. The play field has four main features. On the right are the draw pile and the tableau where players take up cards. The two discard piles are known as the kill and save pile to the left. The kill pile is face down while the save pile is face up with each of the characters named and symbols showing. The main use for both of these discard piles is for scoring. On a player's turn, they draw a card, may use an ability, and may use a card to score. When drawing, a player takes a card from the deck blindly into their hand, or one from the tableau face up in front of them. Next, they can use an ability of the card they own. Many of these can help gain extra cards, move cards around the board, and even make an extra scoring action. Cards that activate abilities are not discarded. Finally, a player may use one of their cards for scoring. Each card has a different way of scoring. Save means an equal or greater number of that symbol, or even a specific person must be in a save pile to score. They get the number of points listed on the card. A score for kill is very much the same, but players secretly look at the kill pile to determine if they score. Even when a player has multiple scoring levels, they still collect any of them as long it applies. After a card is scored, the player must send their scored card to either the save pile or the kill pile. When the last card is taken from the deck, all players, including the current player, will have one more turn. The player with the most points is the winner. Overall, the game is interesting because the main feature of the game are the two, what are essentially, discard piles that are used throughout the game. The main strategy is just to try to put the cards into the right discard piles and optimize your scoring ability. It is almost a micro game, and it isn't. 30 cards, easy enough rules, the only reason it doesn't make it because the game length, which is about 30 minutes but only using 30 cards is still pretty cool. As a game dealing with rebellion and uprising, I feel that there isn't enough conflict between players. Now, there isn't anything wrong with the game as of now, but for me, it's very much a solo game except when getting cards, and even that doesn't really have effect much on other players. Most of the time, there is a card you really want to use, such as a, another character for scoring. It doesn't hurt a bit whether or not someone takes the card you really like. I guess it could work on some people for scoring, but honestly, I think it's fine. But I just feel a game with this theme should have some interaction with players. Also, I don't think there's much planning to scoring cards, and it's better to take advantage by waiting to get those cards full amount of points. And players don't have to worry about enough time to score since other cards can help with scoring, and it's easy to know when the end of the game is coming. Final thoughts. The game is good. Le Mizahab has some really cool things going for it. The fun part of the game is trying to set up the best scoring you can get and effectively using the character's abilities. There are some interesting things the characters can do, and it's awesome to see the characters from the book in this game. Lime Sahab, Eve the Rebellion, is looking for your support on Kickstarter. Please click the link in the description below to go directly to their project page for more information. And thanks for watching! Please take a moment to visit my channel for other board and card game previews and reviews. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos, and please give us a thumbs up, it makes me really happy if you do so. This is Ferdinand the Cardboard Stacker, and remember to keep on stacking games. <laughs>